Hi, and welcome to this week's version of Motivational Monday. Today's topic is hashtag loving me, knowing what bridges to burn. And so a lot of times you hear, never burn bridges, never burn bridges, never burn bridges. But I'm here to challenge that notion and understand and break down that sometimes it's okay to burn that bridge because burning that bridge is beneficial to your overall well-being. Now keep in mind, I'm not saying burn all your bridges. I'm not saying it's healthy to even burn a majority of your bridges. But there are some bridges in your life that you need to burn. And you need to do so permanently. And so the first one is to mind your decisions. Removing or limiting options can paradoxically improve payoffs. So burning that bridge may create the possibility for things to get better for you. And you also want to burn bridges that never existed. So if there's a connection um, or if there's a person or something that just it doesn't make sense for what you want, burn the bridge. It's okay. And when you're backed into a corner, sometimes you need to burn all bridges equally. But definitely make sure you're minding that decision prior to making it. So think long and carefully um, before making the decision to burn a bridge. But burn bridges when they lead to your destruction. There are some unhealthy relationships, whether it be friendships or romantic relationships or um, even job opportunities. If it's detrimental to your mental health, your emotional health, or even your physical well-being, burn the bridge. The concept of never burning bridges is extreme. And it creates the mindset that everyone deserves access to your life. And that's not true. It's more beneficial to you to be sure that if someone is causing you pain or if someone is a negative impact on your life on a consistent basis, you should evaluate whether or not that bridge deserves to exist. And personally, I believe you should very rarely burn professional bridges, if ever. Because professionally, you never know who who you'll need. You'll never know who needs you. You never know who knows who. So you may be interested in expanding your career in a particular direction. And someone can ask that person about you. So even though you may not have a, a consistent relationship with that person, I just think professionally, there's no need to burn bridges. Um, unless. It is very detrimental in a case of workplace harassment or something along those lines that's interfering with your personal life. So everyone knows the song by Vivian Green, Emotional Roller Coaster. And I had the thought the other day, the person you think about when you hear that song, burn that bridge. And that's just my thoughts on it. According to Urban Dictionary, The act of burning bridges is eliminating all possibility of return or retreat. Does every person in your life deserve the possibility to return? Do they deserve that power? If the answer is no, burn the bridge. But choosing you over the bridge leading to your pain or demise leads to a healthier you. Sometimes you have to choose you and be okay with that choice. But learn to burn bridges politely. So doing so in a manner that's permanent without being rude, angry, or nasty to that person. Be sure that the bridge needs to be burned and make the decision with a clear mind and not in the space of pain. Because you're making a permanent decision. And so when you make that decision, you want to make sure it's not fueled by anger and that the decision is a logical decision and not an emotional decision. Do not burn all bridges, only the dangerous ones. And so I leave you with a quote today from David Russell. It says, the hardest thing to learn in life is which bridge to cross and which to burn. So keep that in mind as you're dealing with these bridges, whether it be people, whether it be places, 
whether it be organizations, jobs, whatever bridge you're facing, you have to make a decision. Is this bridge beneficial and does it lead me to a positive place? I hope this message reached somebody. And if so, please leave your comments. I welcome your comments. But also, feel free to provide um, topic ideas. If there's a topic you'd like for me to discuss, please comment below. And also shoot me an email. And I look forward to our talk next time. Have a great day.